I'm Shlewi. I'm Ragdoll. And we're state champs. And we've been drill partners since fourth grade. I'm Kaden Bird. And I'm Leah Willen. And we, we talk, talk more than we wrestle. We wrestle. Uh, I'm Chloe Browning. I'm Aubrey Del Angel. Um, what do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener. <laughs> My name's Aaliyah. I'm Mia. And we're the Curly Head Twins. I'm Lily Kinzel. And I'm Olivia Olive. And we're, and we're always, always overweight. Hi, my name's Molly Hudler, and this is my first year. <laughs> Back there, a Steve. This is the girls' varsity wrestling team, and you're watching What's Up Wildcats. Ain't no way you breaking me, kid. I'm harder than nails. Plus, I keep it on lock like I'm part of the jail. I'm slaughtering stale competition. Hello, Harrison Ice and Welcome to What's Up Wildcats. I'm Carter Fry. And I'm Chase Turner. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. Here's what's going on. So acceptance Week wraps up tomorrow. Thanks to everyone who has participated in the Dress Up Days this week and shared your pictures. Remember, today we will be taking the pledge to spread the word inclusion. If you have not done so already, click the, click the link in your Class Up Teams page. Anita Aguilar and Ryan Perry are here to tell us what to wear to wrap up the week tomorrow. I am brave. I am bruised. I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Inclusion Friday. Wear yellow to show understanding. Remember, tomorrow wear anything yellow to show that you understand awareness plus change equals inclusion. And don't forget to post your acceptance week pictures to Instagram and tag Harrison's Special Olympics and Acceptance Week. This week, during Acceptance Week, there will be a friendly competition between all three lunch periods. Look through your room, couches, cars, and piggy banks to find some change to donate to our Special Olympic program here at the high school. All you need to do is drop off your coins to the bucket designated for your lunch period by tomorrow. We will weigh the buckets tomorrow, and the lunch period with the heaviest bucket will earn a frozen treat next week. A representative from Northern Kentucky University will be visiting Harrison High School on March 8th. Sign up in Naviance if you'd like to attend or learn more information about NKU and have your questions answered. Seniors, do you have something to say? Do you enjoy public speaking? If so, consider sharing your thoughts with your classmates as well as their family and friends at Harrison High School's 143rd commencement on May 31st. Details can be found in the Class of 23 Teams page. Speeches are due to Mr. Weber in room 114 or Mrs. Hinnerlong in room 111 by 3 p.m. on April 6. And you can see either of them with any questions. Student Council would like to announce that they are extending the emergency aid drive with Matthew 25 Ministries through tomorrow. For those who were affected by the devastating earthquake in Turkey, you can donate non-perishable items like paper towels, cleaning supplies, and cases of bottled water to the front lobby before first bell tomorrow. The more items you donate, the higher the chance you'll win one of three raffle baskets for your generosity. Thank you for your continued support, and we hope to see all of you donate some more. The Harrison Varsity Academic Team had an outstanding evening at the Swalk ECC Tournament last night. They won their first match against Ross, lost a nail-biter against Edgewood that came down to the last question in a single point, then finally were defeated by Ross by a slim five points. Congrats to Josh Evanson, first team all-conference, Paige Burnett, second team all-conference, Jack Jacob, honorable mention, Ryan Green, sportsmanship, and Lily Montavon, senior. Congrats to all the team members for a great season. Oh, the menu lunch tomorrow in Debbie Cafe is a grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup, tater tots, peaches, pears, and milk. That's the news for today. I'm Chase Turner. And I'm Carter Fry. And on this day in 1974, a grand jury in Washington, D.C. concludes that President Richard Nixon was indeed involved in the Watergate cover-up.